Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. So, we know the two locations we need to go. We need to go to White Rose Abbey to basically find out where... So this is where Nyrissa, the nymph, would go, or Fae or whatever. That's where she meets, uh, or did meet, Iriveti at some point. And this is where we're going to find a tool against him. We found that out in Nyrissa's dream last time. And we need to go to this menagerie, which is where all of these beasts are being unleashed into the realm, and we need to kill them all. So, you know, two fairly good things here. I am going to teleport over to Armos here. Ah, yes, you may notice that all of our towns have a teleporter in them now. Uh, that is because when we did that little bit where I had to go back in time to fix all of the um, arcane and culture stuff so we didn't game over, basically... This um, was an easy way to get arcane, and also seems quite good for, you know, teleporting all over the place. So, White Rose Abbey first, because it's by far the closest. Down here. And in we go. Excited to see what we find here. I wouldn't expect too much of a fight, to be honest with you. I think this one's going to be lower. I think the other ones all fight, but I think this one's going to be mostly lore. So we got some alcohol. Presumably that's not the thing that's going to tear Aravetti down. Oh, we got the wrong party uh, layout as well. We got this weird thing. Because we were in the first world and we didn't have that many people with us. Okay. More alcohol. You hear like a snake? Let's head out. I'm positive I found something. Hey, Lindsay. Giant were tiger. Anything else? That's an interesting Take choice for a guard. This requires your attention. Let us bide our time. There are a lot of giant were tigers. Okay. Valerie? Uh, yeah, get those ones. Amiri? Rage and go for it. Um, Jubilost, go. Buff, quick. Uh, gonna need to heal. Probably Amiri. You forced my hand. And we want to take a step back. Go. Nice. Amiri, up this way. Tear them apart! Right. Fire that way. Oh, ho, ho. nice. Right, one of those. Very nice. Amiri's cutting through them now, hopefully. Uh, the first heal was okay. He's already gone through a lot of her temporary hit points, though, but she, we should be healing very quickly. Jubilost, those ones instead, please. No, Jubilost, those ones instead. Perfect, right. We're going to chuck another um, fire one through at that one at the back and see what we can do here. She just absolutely destroyed one there. Nope, oh, this one. Will they Didn't quite kill him. Okay. Amiri's back in it. Okay. Hit it again. We are getting shot, which is definitely not good for our health. Nice. Okay. Heal. Nice. Okay. So he has were tigers working for him. That's an interesting thing to note. That's just full plate. Okay. That's fine. Uh oh. I can turn off that buff. Yeah. Unnecessary buff right now. Get it? Right. Go get it. Nice. Applause, please. That was good. 
Ooh, what we got over here? So we got Eternal Sunshine, A Pilgrim's Journey. Read it. Uh, right, cool. These ones? Definitely grab the health potions, but apart from that, nothing else is needed. Just checking the map. No, it's a fairly straight line through, actually. What do we have here? Okay, Lindsay can deal with those. Applause, kind please. of her speciality now. I'm positive I found Ooh, something. Ooh, nice. That's that, a ring of chaos. Plus four deflection bonus and a continuous freedom of movement uh, spell. Only chaotic characters can have it. Hmm. Her rim, I think, would use it. Anything else? Another trap disabled. Nice. This one. More alcohol. The secret might be he's just a heavy drinker. This is not the Class, way it works. Please. Yeah, we can open it. No problem. No problem. The path is clear. With the level of these enemies, it doesn't even feel like we need to be this level to be here. It almost feels like we could have been here significantly earlier. I don't know, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Given that we were given this pl this uh, place in a dream, probably I am wrong, but it was just interesting. What do we have here? Hmm. Okay. Okay. We have a good opportunity Our duty calls. for me to show off my ability to kill people from a long range. That's what we have here. Okay. Everybody, just hold your horses. I wish there was another way. Wait here. Lindsay, buff. Buff. We we'll use firebrand as well. No, actually, we don't need to use fire. Uh, we'll probably be better off just chucking fireballs at them. Let's be honest here. Right. Juba lost. Hold. Right, Jubilos now in range to hit. That's fine. Stay behind me. Okay. Bunch of lightning coming in at us here. Okay. So many effects on the screen. Uh, I do want to fireball again. Ideally, want to hit the one right at the back, though, of that fireball. Okay. They're going to walk right for the trap, which they did, but that's okay. Well, that thing's just called Gardener. Oh, Gardener. Okay. Don't know if that's a menagerie thing. I thought menagerie were mostly animals, but, you know. To be fair, my entire knowledge comes from the last menagerie, so not exactly the best. Uh, Alright, Gardener's dead. Fine, turn that off. Uh, right. Get one of each of those. Ooh, another Fey Charm. Takes 100 gold. Break Dripping Clock. I don't know what the dripping clock does, so I don't know if we need to break it so much. But we'll see. Ooh! Chipped magnifying glass for the Technic League's band. Lovely. And a long spear, which is called Singing Edge. Okay, whenever the wielder of this plus three long spear becomes affected by a bardic performance, its enhancement bonus gets increased to plus five and grants a plus two bonus to... AC dodge. Nice. That that could be a reg one. In fact, that seems like a reg one. All right. Well. Done. I broke it. Oh, Evandra is the one we saw in the dream. She was one of the nymphs that followed um, Nyrissa. Now, what's interesting, but Nevendra's. I thought the rest of them became his face sisters, but Nevin Evandra obviously didn't. This beautiful Nerid is deathly pale. She shudders as you approach. I I know you. 
You're her hound. I have a message for you. The narr the narrated freezes and stares straight forward with unseeing eyes. When she speaks again, it's not with her voice, but another. One you recognize all too well. Just two more to make a thousand. Two more grains and my cup will be full. I care not who makes it first. You and your lands, my hound, or Patax and its ruler. Time draws near, so enjoy yourselves, or fight, or celebrate your victory. Each step you take is one more towards my triumph. Take the tool promised to you. It awaits you here at the bottom of the lake in the abbey. But bear in mind, my peacock already knows you have revealed his secret. He is terrified, and he will soon make his move. Oh yeah, we're not in the menagerie. <laughs> we're in right White Rose Abbey. I'm in a different area. That's why the menagerie stuff doesn't make any sense. Ignore me. Just in general. Finished speaking, the Nereed hugs her shoulders and lowers her head. Who are you? Why do you speak with Nyrissa's voice? The Nereed lifts her head and stares at you with big blue eyes. I have an, I am in Evendra. I've spent many years serving my cousin Nyrissa as her living tool, a channel for her voice. As a gift to her, Peacock, King Aravetti. Through me, he could communicate with her. Why would Nyrissa do this to you? It is a long story. Though, you surely know much of it already. Long ago, my dear sweet cousin was different, but then a curse fell upon her and it changed her completely. It's been a long time since I could recognize Nerissa, our once proud, brave, and visionary leader. The curse deprived her of her heart, and her first victims were her sisters, the nymphs, and myself. Okay, so her sisters were the defaced sisters, but this is a cousin. Got it. Uh, what was that tool Nerissa spoke of? A dark sec secret is hidden in these depths. The remains of the victims of a treacherous murder. Side by side they lie at the bottom of the lake. The offspring of the four noble Pataxian families. Lyacenza. Catan. Catani. Ascari. And Strokale. I know little of the games mortals, mortal monarchs play. But I've watched Iravetti for a long time. He fears these bones will be recovered and draw the vengeance of their living relatives. That is why Nyrissa told you where to search for the bodies. She also told him that you would come to retrieve them. Two rulers are at each other's throats is exactly what she needs. Nyrissa, dear cousin, what have you become? Who is that strange halfling who attacked me at the entrance? So the gardener, I'm assuming. Evendred frowns and hisses through gritted teeth. The gardener, that is how he is known. The madman was obsessed with me. Nerevetti exploited that weakness of his, his to turn him into the most loyal of his guardians. I do not wish to speak more of him. Well, thank you for the information. Farewell. Wait, I beg you, please take me with you, Queen. Let me live in your capital. I will repay you by telling you all I know. I I want to help you. I want to help Nyrissa too. If anyone can break the curse, it must be you. I'm not sure a forgiven traitor has any right to ask this, but please listen to Evendra. She's endured immense suffering, and it didn't break her. She can help us. I would advise against it. Time and time again, we've witnessed treachery from those of the First World. We cannot place trust in their desire to repent and aid us. I'll, um, yeah, alright, you can come. Tristian nods to you gratefully, as though it were about him. Thank you for your kindness. Oh, alright. Uh, I want to go to the Lake Depth, I guess. And grab the bones. That was easy enough. The underground lake looks like a silver mirror. The reflections on its surface are so clear you can make out every wrinkle in your clothes and the individual strands of your hair. What you can't make out, though, is anything that might be hidden in the water. Dive into the lake. You dive into the lake. You once more notice that the silvery quality of the water, as though it's been imbued with light or perhaps radiates it. But the things hidden by the placid shimmering are horrible. Below your feet, at the bottom of the lake, float at least two dozen corpses. The dead seem to stare at you, some with empty sockets of hollow skulls and others with nightmarishly dead eyes. One body floats past you and you feel a small metal object fall into your hand. It looks like a signet ring. We gotta use our knowledge world to examine, right? 
Oh, we can use other people's stuff? Perfect. Examine. I was worried it would have to be all of our stats. One of the dead bodies wears a purple belt. Another is clad in a black vest with a great, with bright green embroidery. You can easily recognize the insignias of the four trade houses. There are dead bodies here from all the great families that once ruled Patax. Dive deeper. We failed it. Wow. Alright. And that's it then, huh? Well, we got the Fox Signet Ring, which is sure to be something we can use. That like in... Oh, I guess I need to sort this by new, right? Okay, so we probably didn't get all the proof that we need, but we got some of the proof that we need. That's what I'm guessing there. Because I'm guessing you can get like absolute proof if you get everything, and it probably makes a check later easier. Like it probably makes a diplomacy check or something or an intimidate check easier if you have the actual information in your hands. Okay. Well, we should go to the menagerie now, shouldn't we? It's the last thing we need to do, and if we can get Patax to stop sending monsters our way, that should be the last of the things we act that um that should get rid of those uh random events. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I don't need to take the junk that's there. I'd only take the junk if we were returning back to our capital, but I don't think that's a sensible idea at this point. And the only sensible idea is to rush the menagerie. So I think we want to head there and then cross. Yeah. Kingdom? I uh, don't know what event's popping up, because I haven't taken things in a while. A taxing envoy awaits inside the castle. Huh. We're going to leave him waiting before we we need to get the menagerie first. Right? There's nothing else we can do other than get the menagerie. Like, the menagerie first is such a huge thing for us to need to do. Right, I'm entering. E even though we're not full health, but because we're not fatigued, I think it's well worth entering on this day as well. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of consequences for our actions here. How may I help? Uh, I do want to heal. Do I have a heal? Probably that one's a heal. That one might be useful though. Let's cure light. Cure serious. No, I'll just use the channel. Why not? I need to do at least one channel. And then I'll cure serious. That's fine. Quick save. I can't imagine the enemies in here being too difficult, but they they might be monsters. The larger area as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Troll guards. Oh. The path is clear. I'm sorry, trolls. Call to them. So, any brilliant prepare. ideas? I I don't think you fully understand the seriousness of the situation here. A fatal mistake. Get it. Strike is one. Get it. Bring it. Uh, one of those and a haste buff. Uh, just shoot it. So it's come to this. Chuck acid at it. Fine use of my talents. Uh, one of those. Let's go. So the regeneration is stopped now already. Yeah. Tear them apart. Okay. I shot a crossbow bolt. By far the worst thing we could have done. Uh, one of those. About to die. Oh, it's very dead. Our party was made to fight trolls. Like, fire, acid, it's perfect. High, high base damage, even. Like, it, we're made to fight trolls. Um, one of those? Uh, do we have another heal? Right here, my friend. That's the only worry I have, is healing Amiri. He's a little beat up. That was pathetic. Heal? Heal. 
a large-ish area. Wonder how much we're gonna run into here. Oh! <gasps> we know you, Borba. So these are Kargath's children. Right? Or Kargad. I was close enough. I mean, we haven't seen them for ages. We see you before. Borba kill father, Kargad. We be alone long time. Hungry. Wait, search. Now Borba be here. I didn't want his death. Kargad gave me no choice. We don't need to fight. I spared you once. Let's part in peace this day too. No peace. You didn't. You don't kill Kargad. He kill you. Then you don't kill us. We kill you now. What? Do not falter. Uh. Okay. Well, I'm afraid you're dead. Well. Consequences of our actions of letting them go mean we just killed them a little bit later, I guess. For the same experience we would have got earlier. Alright, well. Tread lightly. I mean What did they think I was gonna do? Let them live? If like, when they attacked me? Oh dear. It's kinda dark down here, but you know, we can we can see much better than I thought we would be able to. Smith Overseer. Ooh, back off. Roxer Almighty, what have I done to deserve this? Okay. Give the order. How strong is he? Huh. We should move. Dawnflower, guide my hand. Worth a shot, okay? Onward. Worth a shot. I will not be told that that wasn't worth at least one little try. This spell eludes me. Right. Forward. Repent. Nice. Uh, Lindsay, forward. Make sure everyone's actually hit by the you spell. It. Burning arc. That's a dead one. That was a nice crit. Nice. Uh, one of those? We are running out of spells for ourselves. That's okay. Right. Nice. What we got here? Yeah, we'll have that. The trolls have anything? On? Oh, they have these on them, I suppose. We could grab them at the end. I wrote it like I saw it. Right. Smith Overseer, Warhammer, full plate. Yeah. Okay. They just kind of have stuff that we would have picked up ages ago, like in previous levels. Very odd. Uh, do a quick save as well before we go in here. Not paranoid, just, you know, a little paranoid. Uh, oh yeah, we'll have all of that. Find feather. I'll go ahead. Okay. In here. Thundercrack. Steel wind. Piece of sky metal. Alright, so what's Thundercrack? Plus five agile shock scimitar. With runic mage blade. If you have a touch spell charge, the weapon's enhancement bonus is plus two better than its actual bonus. Agile. Bon uh, they can choose to apply the dexterity bonus to damage rolls in place of the strength bo bonus. This is a um, this is a reg weapon. Okay, and then steel wind. Monk weapon. Um, I think it's a monk weapon. <laughs> it's about the only thing I'm getting here. A greater speed. Um, they can make two extra attacks with it per round. Yeah, okay. Might be worth it if we'd given um what's his name? If we gave a knock knock. I'm listening. Um if we gave him Psy as a as a special weapon, otherwise it's not really that worth it. Right. Let's cure light wounds. Let's cure moderate wounds mass unneeded. Cure serious wounds. There we go. What am I replacing? Remove curse. So I knew the only person who ever got a curse was Tristian. 
Oh, I forgot. We're going to have to do that area again at some point because um, I didn't redo it when we did the uh, go back in time, back to the future stuff. Troll snout, stay at the circle. Pal, what is the cure if you lose a few toes? They'll grow new ones. Yeah, stand as close as you want. No worries. Well, hee hee, where should we throw this batch? Oh, right. So there's teleporting away. I see. Let us be careful. Anything is possible. Uh, haste? Buff? Done with waiting. Um. I shall not fail. Kill? Yeah, okay. Two arms. We're a very low chance of success there. Miri can get rage. Christine can move forward. You know what? Perfect time to try out one of these. Right. Go. Nice. Everyone got a little fired up there. Start spamming heal. Lindsay can shoot. Jubilos can chuck. Right. Uh, that's one dead. Okay. There's wyverns at the back there. Uh, let's fireball there. I think I just Survive. killed Amiri. That's, that's my current theory, is I just murdered her. Alright. I am healing, but that's okay. Right. Nerd Zottenthropple. Zottenthropple? Have we heard that before? Wait, Zottenthropple was the name of the one who was at the... It was at Jubilos thing, wasn't it? Jubilos's, um... Oh, it's come back to be the... The tournament, basically, where, where he had, like, the Wits tournament. I think that was a Zottenthropple? I'm sure that was a Zottenthropple. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're okay-ish. We eliminated the Mage Teleporter. Oh, and skin, I guess. I'll survive. I always survive. He dropped. Oh, because their con dropped to zero. I'm guessing. What troubles you? Uh. Yeah. What's our con currently? I guess it keeps dropping to zero and then comes back up. I'll survive. I always survive. Or is that mind fog or something that keeps knocking her down? Anyway, she has she has that, How may I help? which I think we can remove with a treat affliction. Yeah, nice. And then we can greater restoration on her. Nice. Come on, work. That's good. She got nine con back. That'll probably explain why she was dying a lot. If she had low lowered con though. A nerd Zottenthropple. Who apparently must not be the person, otherwise they would have told us about him. Them. I'm sure we've seen a Zottenthropple before though. Unless it is nerd. This just a quick way out. We need to try something Up else. Out, please. Yeah, try just letting Lindsay do it. Oh, how the times have changed. Just let Lindsay do it. She'll just succeed. Um, fighting the Bleaching. Practical Guidance by uh, Yuzia Nordquani. Okay, so they were here helping to stop the Bleaching. Child's play. The Unbound Blade. Plus four long, shock long sword grants its wielder plus four on saving throws against mind affecting effects. Neat, I guess. Like, not crazy good, but neat. Okay. The path is clear. There's still a little bit more, isn't there? Hmm. By quick save, we'll clear out the remainder of this place. 
get that one. Right. We are out of heals, uh, which should be noted here. Right. Does she have rage? She does have rage. So that'll get her a lot of temporary hit points and also give her a way to kill these things a little bit more efficiently. This is where I step in. Uh, Lindsay? I know this is where you step in, but could you move like a lot closer so we can use this? Yeah. Just to keep her going for a little bit. Uh, shoot. Serves you right. Do we have anything? Um, we could chuck a fireball back here. Yeah. Oh, she's dead. Uh, inspire recovery. Yeah. Did that work? Yes, that failed. Okay. Just keep going. How many bombs does Jubilost have left? 17. He has so many bombs, it's getting kind of silly at this point. Also, Lindsay's doing consistent damage, which is something that's unusual. Hmm. Okay. Um, so that cost us 7,000. Uh, yes. In there. Let us bide our time. That's absolutely fine. Right down here. Nice. Nothing in that corner. I'll go ahead. What's that? Ooh. Came down here for six thousand coins and well and the XP I suppose, but six thousand coins. Cool. Time to head back to our capital. There's a person from Patax waiting for us there, apparently. Hmm. Maybe the more of these places you went to, the more proof you have against the person from Patax, along with the uh, signet ring or something. I'm trying to think. Or maybe Patax's thing is just a warning. Uh, I should rest. Yeah, I should definitely rest. We'll switch... Uh... Yeah, we switch it around like this. Yeah, perfect. Right, uh, and then just rest. Good, hunting's done. Camp camouflage, the cooking. Nice. Okay, so we want to head to our nearest place, which I think is going to be Armos at 10 hours, which seems to be... We're crumbling apparently now? Why are we crumbling? It just popped up new status crumbling. That is awful. That our status is crumbling. Be careful, everyone. I don't really want to fight skeletons. I'm good. Just kill that one over there. I'm writing you a story. Nice. We can leave now. They were 180 experience each, I suppose, but... Yeah, I didn't really want to fight skeletons. Not my jam. Let's get out of here. Cool, leave. I'm still not sure why we're crumbling yet, but... Yeah, we'll see. See why we're crumbling. Probably quest null why we're crumbling. If I go and have a look. Kingdom. You did not meet with the Patax advisor within 10 seconds. Widespread Pataxian influence. Okay. And that knocked our stats back down to zero. Negative kingdom stats. Yeah. Oh wow, we did... We are right down there. There's nothing I can do to solve that one. It has to be solved by the... IX. Ninth. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, we gotta head up here then. We gotta solve the put the thing before that happens, essentially. We are in a bit of a difficult situation. Let's see how let's see what we can do. We finished all the quest stuff we have access to. The fact that that lowers our stats down by so much is just insane, but okay. Hello. Oh, that's Stefano. Stefano Mosconi is wearing a particularly splendid attire for his visit. His doublet is embroidered with a precious with precious stones and decorated with the emblem of Patax. A disdainful smile is plastered on his powdered face. He bows formally. Your Highness, I'm here on behalf of His Highness Irovetti of Patax. It is an open secret that things are not going too well for your kingdom of late. Bandits and monsters which you have supposedly exterminated are swarming your countryside once more. You are losing the trust and respect of your subjects. Everyone sees that you are failing to meet the responsibilities of a proper ruler. It's just not that everyone dares to say this out loud. His Highness Irovetti is willing to lend you a helping hand. Reject this unbearable burden of power, kneel to him and abdicate the crown. He will rule the stolen lands as wisely and fairly as he rules his own country. His Highness is expecting you at his palace in Patax, ready to accept your oath. Tell Irovetti I'm coming. His Highness is expecting you. With a low bow, Moscone leaves the throne room. Oh, I'm coming for you. Irovetti. I'm coming for you. Go to Patax. I can do that. That is within my capabilities. Hopefully, as long as the game doesn't end before we get to Patax. Oh dear. It's getting close. And it's got close before. Okay. I'll leave you to your legends. I'm sure we started all the Patak stuff like as soon as possible. And we I, I don't think I'd left my kingdom management like un, unattended for too long. I was sure I'd leveled up, but maybe I spent too maybe I did an extra 14 days where I shouldn't have done something. I don't know. Maybe there was time when I I, I wasn't doing everything. Maybe I should have been in Patax the whole time searching for those things. For like those quests. Trying to think what we could have done better. I guess I should have been in Patax searching for those quests. It didn't really tell me I had to be in Patax. This is terrifying, by the way, the lightning. Uh, I have stuff to sell. I should sell it. I should also give Reg the sword and then sell his other one. So, uh, Reg, your new thing is that sword, isn't it? The Thundercrack. Yeah, the Agile Scimitar of the Runic Mageblade. It just seems too good to not give him. The rest we can sell. Uh, offer. Sort by newest to oldest. We want to sell the Unbound Blade. Yeah. Some of that. That's fine. Uh, all the alcohol. Although I might need it. Right, that. 16 of those. 7 of those. What else have we got? Ring of Chaos and Invisibility. Invisibility we can sell. Utility Belt we can sell. So it's just the Ring of Chaos. Ring of Chaos I think is a Harim item. Uh, instead of plus 4... Yeah, instead of the plus four ring. It means the plus four ring can probably be moved on to a Miri. Instead of the plus two ring. Uh, which means that plus two ring can probably be moved to Reg. No, he already has that one. Ring of, ring of protection. I'll give it to her. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about selling the last little bit. We have 100,000 gold. What am I going to spend it on? BP. BP is the answer. But, you know, that's okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to do a save here. Just so we have one. Before it attacks. Save it. Cool. 
and hopefully we can get out of this situation. Am I taking this party? Of course I'm taking this party. Let's go. I could take like Octavia and Reg, but you know, there's there's a certain amount of no messing about anymore. This is deal with the problem at hand as efficiently as possible. Veros, I think. So Veros is a 14 hour trip. How far is Armos? 19 hour. Yeah, so Veros is much quicker. Trollos, don't don't get me started. We're not going to Trollos. Uh, Veros? Yeah. And then down here. Oh wait, it's not even 14 hours because I haven't unlocked the shortcut. Definitely means I haven't done the Hemlock Island bit, but that's okay. Right, south. Cut so many hours out of our trip. And, now this is a quick save. Into Patax. I'm ready. Enter the city. Approaching the city, we found the gates wide open. Apparently, there was no one there to greet us. Okay. We're walking straight in. To this palace, if we can. Oh. It looks kind of familiar, actually, once we get inside. It just did an auto-save, and I'm like, quick save. My save is slightly better. The path is clear. I'm walking straight in the front gate. We can explore later. I know we have time to explore later. Well, we must have time because uh, we have quests here. And this is like a rush quest. Where's Iravetti's palace? Oh, there's Stefano Mosconi. We must have to speak to him first, right? That might be it. There's new music for Patax, and it's a huge area. There must be more we can do here later. Stefano? So, we reached the climax of your tale at last. I, is this actually the end of the game? I could be mistaken. <laughs> Admitting her failure, the brave but alas inept ruler delivers her crown into the hands of her wise old friend. Okay, I think it's just showboating. There's still more to do, obviously. Um, at least, that's how they'll write about it in the Chronicles, but we both know there's only one thing that matters. You are the first, and you won't be the last, to lose all you possess to my master. But I must admit, you were a worthy adversary. Hmm. If you knew what I know, you wouldn't stay loyal to Iravetti for long. Let me tell you something. Don't waste your breath. I already know everything you know, and more besides. You can't convince me to join you with flattery or threats or any shocking scandal. Well, I have to go. Go now, my king is waiting. Let's Interesting. Can we turn other people here? Are we meant to, like, visit all the places before we go? Or is it? Oh, this well, is it. All right, hello, fine. Queen. I'm glad to see that despite your utter failure as a ruler, you did listen to the voice of reason and made the only right decision. Give me your crown and swear allegiance to me. I promise I shall rule your lands wisely and mercifully. Okay. No, Eravetti, I didn't come here to give you my crown, I came to take yours. Citizens of Free Patax, our city is in danger! That's the end, right? Are we about to be in a fight? Yeah, yeah, okay. I want to reload, re reload, reload. Uh, reload. <laughs> uh. We've found better ones. No, 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 no. That's not what we're doing. <laughs> we're not doing the immediate fight thing. Unless that's what we have to do. There's definitely a talky-talky way of doing this. I want to have a look at this side. See if there's somebody we're missing as well. 
But I did notice the academy were attacking us there. Also, you know, might as well do a few things. Dragon Slayer. Ooh. Nice. Just seeing what we got around here. Ooh. Guy Metal Cogwheel. Hello. There you are, your highness. Irvetis expects you to bend the knee, but I suspect you have other plans. Assuming I oppose Irvetti, uh, will the old family support me? You can count on help from the L Liacenza family, but regarding the other trade houses, I've no I've tried to unite them many times, but the stubborn fools would sooner die than triumph united. I have no idea what might bring them in line. Uh, what I'm going to tell you will persuade the other trade houses to join. Okay, so we were meant to go around and talk to everyone. Tell me about yourself. I am the head. We've already done this, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've already done this. Okay. What I'm going to tell you will persuade the other trade houses to join the rebellion. We found it. We heard this at the uh, tournament. Right. Uh, I'm all ears. Which one do we go for? I think we go for number four. All the members of the old families kidnapped by Irvetti are dead. The bones lie at the bottom of the underground pond at White Rose Abbey. By the gods, th this is unheard of. I'll immediately dispatch my people to the abbey and to the other families. If this is true, then Irvetti will face blood vengeance from all the families. Okay. Definitely this was a wander around and speak to everybody first situation. Rather than a just go for it, you know? So we can't conv convince Stefano in, under any circumstances to join. But we can maybe go around and convince other people to join. Like the other trade houses, not just the first one. Ring of Law? Okay. Uh, plus four deflection, only lawful can use it? Uh... Well, maybe. What's what's her one give her right now? I kind of prefer her one right now. Applause, please. Ooh, I think I already have read that because that's the How Great Is Aravetti book. The path is clear. That's that's where the uh, bit where we can't go is. Okay. So can I convince this guy to join us, Ersi Kalisi? Good day, your highness. For the moment, at least. I didn't expect you to sew your face here. Will you allow me to give you a piece of advice? What do you want to give? There are two possibilities. Either you've come to surrender to Irvetti, hoping for his mercy, or you're here to start a bloodbath in the streets, thinking my guard won't stop you. My advice is the same in either case. Run. Perhaps what I have to say will make you change your mind. Perhaps, but I wouldn't count on that. Okay. I have a good amount of diplomacy. Um, let's try the pirate gang first. Worked for Irovetti. Show me a single person in Patax that has no connection with a gang. Listen. I'm gonna reload. I'll be honest with you. I kind of thought that it would let me try more than one thing. So we can't do that one. What about if I go, the bones are under a lake? He doesn't care about them though, does he? Inten intentionally bred monsters might be a weird one. I think I might try that. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's going to tell me to run. Um, I proof Erevetti intentionally bred monsters. Monsters. Bred them. So this is how far it's gone. His Highness breeds man-eating monsters in his own kingdom. I suppose he expects that this time it won't end as it usually does, and they won't devour the entire city, and him with it. Like well, Mitchell right, Irvetti has crossed the line. This is worse than just flirting with the Thieves' Guild. It's a direct threat to the very existence of attacks. If you fight Irvetti, the guard will be on your side. You didn't hear this from me. Now go, before someone hears us. That's Stefano, over here. And this is the area I'm not allowed to go to right in the center. I think. Yeah, okay. 
So I'm gonna try going over here. I don't know where this leads, like this door. To the port. Okay, let's head down to the port. So we've converted two to our cause. I'll go ahead. Maybe the port will allow us to convert more to the cause. Hopefully we're able to come back here. I really do want to do Octav Octavia's quest. If all else fails and we can't come back here, what I'll probably do, I don't know. I might just have to come back here and do it again with Octavia. I just reload. Illyria Nuski? Hello. You're the, um, the you're the bandit, right? Something. Oh, so we got Prehistoric Tooth, Necrotic Burst Punching Dagger, and the River Fox's M Memento Pendant. The plus five on all competency on all mobility and trickery checks and deals an additional 1d6 to all flanking, all flanked opponents denying their opponent dexterity as per sneak attack. Damage is increased by um, additional 3d6 against targets that aren't in combat. Interesting. Uh, sounds like it might be a Octavia item. Hello, Laura Nooski. Oh no, it's a Laura Nooski. Ah, here you are. Come to do away with the scoundrel, right? I gathered what's left of the river razors. We are few, but every one of us dreams of gutting your Aravetti. We'll commence on your signal. Thank you. I will need every sword in this battle. Everything is at stake. Alright, so there's definitely going to be a battle. That much is straightforward. Okay. See, talking to people, I now understand what the rules of engagement are in this fight. Like, it's very much talk and then fight. Like, do a little talk, do a little fight. But when when you were just like, just go to Aravetti's castle, you're like, okay, I'm going to go to Aravetti's castle. Seems obvious. Ah, this is the drug guy. Let's convert him to our side somehow. You, I don't know. You don't come any closer. I, I have no business with you. Get away or I'll cut you. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay, so that's Thieves Guild. They're not joining us, I'm guessing. Judging by that. Uh, yeah, we'll have all that. Oh, I didn't really want the... I really want the shields, now that I think about it. Don't really need that either. Okay. And this is the tavern? Yeah, okay, we'll head into the tavern. Why not? Might be even more people to speak to here. First mate Weller. A dark-haired, middle-aged man with a sailor's gait, trimmed beard and grumpy faces blocking your way. Ma'am, my name is Weller, and it's my honor to serve as first mate aboard the pirate ship called the Prestigious. I'd like to ask you for a favor. Help me save my merry crew of sea dogs from drowning in the bottom of their bottles. I count on your help. Without you, my crew will drown in drunkenness and decadence. What is he blabbering about? I thought pirates were tough fighters, you know? Feisty guys on ships. These are just drunks and rattle brains. A pirate names himself such from the start, then has the audacity to ask for help. Life in the River Kingdoms is insane. Ah, they really need a change. What's your problem? There, our crew has placed an order. A wizard named Blakemore agreed to create a grimoire for us. A book, no more, a masterpiece of art. We're supposed to meet him in the tavern two or three, well, several days ago, but he hasn't shown up. Worse, we have no idea where we should look for him. Blakemore is an extraordinary man, full of amazing stories, but he's jealous of his solitude. In truth, if the whole crew stays here drinking, waiting for him days upon days, and if it goes on like that, while well, we'll lose our image as honest pirates. What respected client would want to hire us then? It's long past time for us to set sail, but Captain Martin will hear nothing of it. He won't leave without the book. I need your help. I have to overthrow the captain and take command, but I'm not the most popular man in the crew. If Martin is, like, an amusing and irresponsible... Father for the sailors and the strict mother ready to put her rolling pin to use. I just need someone who can persuade the sailors to take my side. There aren't many who support me now, just those who want to fill our sails with southern winds. It's true, we live in an age of decline and decadence. I'd wager you're curious about where you'll what you'll stand to gain. I'll answer you. Robbing raids are a thing of the past for this ship and her crew. We'll dedicate ourselves to trading elite art pieces. This is highly profitable business and it's just as true for anyone drawing taxes from our vessel. If you help me, then after I become captain, I'll pursue this business under your banner. This will only work if I'm captain. I can't speak for Martin. He's always preferred robbery over honest trade. 
Aren't you, preferred, aren't you worried I might reveal your plan to the captain? No, I'm not. For many years I've kept this crew afloat, but for ship and our business, if I don't overthrow the captain, in a few weeks there won't be any crew left. Answer me this about Blakemore and his grimoire. Um, tell me about the grimoire. Not much to be told, it's a book. It's big and beautiful, covered in calligraphy. Knowing Blakemore, I bet it's full of magical surprises, but its main value lies in its perfection of the visual aesthetics. I said, like an artist, don't I? As you can see, throughout the years, I've become well-versed in matters of art. I've practically grown to love it. Who is this Blakemore? I've heard many accounts, and I don't believe any of them. Let's just say Blakemore is a living phenomenon. If you listen to him for five minutes, you'll hear the most impossible stories any dreamer, dreamer's mind could ever produce. But at the same time, he's an extraordinarily gifted wizard and a skilled artist. I can attest to that personally. I'm pleased to say. No more questions. Uh, I've got a question about your line of work. What exactly would you like to know? Tell me about your ship, the prestigious. You won't find a more glorious pirate ship anywhere. We're not some pathetic bandits who attack fishermen and cargo ships full of cabbages. The prestigious only chases art. Pieces of art, I mean. Never a big admirer of art, but when I learned how much the nobles were willing to pay for it, their aesthetics and beauty just overwhelmed me. We'd sell most of our loot to the King Aravetti. Speaking of which, Blakemore's grimoire was commissioned by Aravetti too. How did you become a pirate? Oh, it's a long story. I was a yearman in Rossland, but when House Rogavia, when all the things happened with House Rogavia, I raised anchor and took off in an instant. I could feel upheaval coming, and, well, just like I'd feel the wind shift northwest at midnight. Back in Deadbridge, I met a Captain Martin, who was recruiting a new crew. The crew soon grew to believe that it was my responsibility to well arrange things, to manage everything. The captain is good at strategic planning, but he's not so skilled in questions of discipline. On the prestigious, I listen to the captain, and the crew listens to me. But it only works so long as I don't contradict Martin. Right, let's leave. Uh, we'll talk later. Not really who I wanted to speak to, if I'm honest with you here. Who's Blutmund? You know what? It's fine. I don't need to know who he is right now. We will come back to the let's tavern. This is kind of like Patak's, um, like, first pass, you know? There's also no upstairs, which makes me think that this is a self-contained tavern quest. I lost Blutman, the guards got him. Where's Blutman? Uh, well, he was standing over next to the fire about ten inches from me. Why are you asking where he is? Very weird question. Through here. Alright. Well, you ready to kill uh, Iravetti? Because I am. I'm sick and tired of him ruining my perfectly well set out and managed kingdom. I put effort, I put time into it. He will not ruin it. Okay. Well, hello, queen. I'm no Aravetti. I came to take yours. Citizens of Free Patex, our city is in danger. The enemy is at the gate. To arms for our freedom, for your king. Okay. The academy's for, for him, but everyone else is for me. Right. Hard way. So we got a fair number on our side, but you know, not everybody. Let us strike as one. Rage. Charge. I don't like that he's marked as neutral good. That always makes me feel like I'm the bad guy when they're marked as neutral good. Um. Fire. And yeah, go. Uh, no. Uh, I think you want to cast that, actually. Looking at it. That was a nice amount of deaths we got there. Oh. 
Okay, that was good. Let's head out. Then in we go. I really Turn that off. In we go. Oh, we'll grab the stuff. Ooh, Stefan uh, Moscone is dead. All right, he's got a weapon thing called Deadly Grace. That's a lot of uh, buffs on that thing. Interesting. Doesn't appear to be that good though. It could be the uh, you know main quest loot is not as good thing that I've noticed quite a lot. Like it's kind of a it's a it's a fairly common game trope that the main quest loot isn't as good because well everybody gets the main quest it gives you more incentives to do side quests and also like the main quest enemies also tend to be easier because everyone does the main quest so they want to, you want people to get through the main quest. Although this game, you know, sometimes it takes some of the rules of things that are meant to happen and then just kind of ignores them. So, you no, know, which is also is part of the charm, but still. Anything else? This massive statue of King Oravetti appears to be made with pure gold and inlaid with gems. A closer inspection reveals it's made of bronze and decorated with an illusion spell. Okay, so there are Patax Wardens and Heralds around the other side. This is a huge palace. Okay. The path is Are these guys hostile? Maybe. Look, it's Queen Sorosaros. What a coincidence. Do you know how much Erevetti promised for her head? Can we handle her? She doesn't look like she'll go down easy. Don't be a coward. We'll manage. Hey you! In the name of King Arvetti, surrender. Can you make an epic oh, alright then. That was it then, huh? <laughs> That's fine. Uh, fire. Uh, actually, probably we could do that one and be fair. Well, actually, you know what we probably want to do is a fireball looking at that that the angles we got here that's pretty nice although we are being hit Tristian uh, heal I, require healing. I do require healing you're right right to come in though Luckily, I'm just dead, not like, you know, super dead. Nice. Okay. Merge up over here. There's a, gonna be a lot of woot, uh, a lot of woot at the end. Something so, you know, a lot of loot at the end. Come on, speak proper. Uh, three of those? Yeah, that seems okay. What's through this door? You know, we need side passages. Let's just go through the front door. The door is locked from the other side. I need side pass passages then. Ooh, that's a nice bit of artwork. Okay, I like it. Open the door. That's a tr that is a troll. That is many trolls. Well, those are many trolls. Um, AOE will not hit people who are not in the same room. Yeah, we remember that one. AOE will not hit people who are not in the same room, so we want to use this. Uh, get that going, and then buff. There's a trap. There's also something called Avanash Gerg. Uh, I think she needs to rage as well. It's fine. Power attack is fine. Okay. This is all okay. Mostly. Um... 
Yeah, we want to just spam the uh, fire, I think, on these guys. I could obsidian flow at the back here. Might work, although that's not going to be in the same room. So, yeah, let's do that one. Right. Um, Tristian heal coming in. Oh, but he, he needs to be in that room to heal in that. No, no. Christian needs to be in the room to this heal in that room. Kill me. This is not great. Okay. Fire coming in. I'll I always survive. Out of our story. Survive. I always survive. Yeah, turn that off and just start shooting. I think. You forced my hand. Uh spam that one. A solid plan. Okay, more acid coming in. Strike where the I'll try to make this swift. This is fine. I thought she was using her hands for a sec, as in she was using her fist to attack there for a second. I was very worried. I can't keep this up much longer. Ooh, ow. Heal. Okay, I brought back. Mm. Okay, here, what are we going to do with Avanash Jurg? Well, I'm going to Sirocco him. Try and knock him over. Lindsay is going to switch to her sword and run in and hit him. You deserved it. Jubilost is going to chuck bombs at him. Jubilos is pretty set in what he does. You just deliberately kill the member of my of my group here. I hate you so much. Okay. This is fine. The Sirocco missed, I think. Yeah, it missed because he moved forward. Damn. Okay. Good obsidian flow underneath them, I suppose. Oh, what is that? Okay. Okay. He is insane. That's what we're getting at here. He's absolutely insane. Uh, okay, 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 okay. More of that. Tristian, more healing, please. So it's come to this. Uh, I require more healing. I should withdraw for a time. Right. <laughs> Just like, I'll try and stab him. That might work. Okay. Just keep trying, I guess. Heal coming in. She's still alive, I guess. What? A miserable last Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. All right. Interesting. Very, very, very strong creature in that room there. Incredibly strong creature, in fact. Stronger than it has any right to be. Okay. So how are we going to deal with that? So that, that room's obviously locked, right? Well, I guess we have to buff before we go in, right? I'll go ahead. And then just absolutely destroy the first enemy. I'm assuming that this is they're not going to be in every single room, these Avast jerks. So let's just overbuff. Yeah. What trouble so... so any brilliant ideas? Yes. First of all, I'm going to use Stone Skin Communal. Followed by your intelligence one. Okay, now the rest of them can be activated other times. How about prayer? How long's prayer? Round per level? Okay, we'll do round per level I ones. Wrote it like, I saw it. like haste. 
I shall not fail. Um, firebrand and um, what else have we got here? Oh you yes, his one. Let's go for a targeted, not targeted bomb, a uh, bomber eye. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, then I also want to cast. I'm thinking. Confide in me. Uh, it's in here. Yeah. I want to cast resist fire communal. My skills are getting rusty. Which I think is fine. Yeah. Go with that. Okay. Open the door. This is not the way it works. That would have been brilliant if we failed the door opening twice. We should move. And then had to just redo it. Like, no, oh, sorry, the door is shut. Can't get in. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Fireball. Let's do it. Anything is possible. Um Activate that at the same time as your sense vitals. Go. We'll do it the hard way. Okay. Rage. Attack. Tear them apart. Attack. Let us so what's this one? one? That's sundering. It's staggering, right? Yeah, that's fine. Staggering, power attack, lethal stance, rage. All of that seems good to me. Vital Strike seems unnecessary, because these guys don't have damage reduction. Yeah. Go. This requires your attention. Do not fall up. Christian, in the room. Now you can spam Repent. heal. Get that one. We stand in the right spot. I can hit. Yeah, I can hit Avanas Jerk with all of my attacks. Perfect. That's what we need to do. Just basically aim all of our attacks straight through at him. Then, if we can get a Miri through as well, that'd be perfect. Miri, that one, please. I know this might not be great. She might just die because he's being hit, but maybe he only she only died because he he got buffed previously. <laughs> you forced my hand. Lindsay, that one. Right. Juba lost that one. <laughs> All right, she's dead. <sighs> right. Fire. So she's still going all right over here. And she's not going to be killed by the trap this time. Nice. Might be killed by magic, but not by the trap. Nice. Okay. Um, another fire snake. Another fire snake. I like how she's just taking on the the trolls. That that's her problem. The trolls. Our problem's everything else. Right. Dead. I believe I found something. How would I just click that without, you know, raising everybody up to full health? Just like a button appeared. Do you click it? Yes. Do you want to ask any questions about what the button is? Not really, I just want to click it. Pretty much all I do, just click the button. We should prepare. Right, raise Amiri. I'm actually kind of out of reses a little bit, which is not right here, great. Well, come in here, we'll get some res going, or some heal going. We may want to just rest now, actually given how much I used, but we'll see. Um, and Lindsay was called forth. Yeah, let's see what we got. So, 
Avanas Jerk gave us the general's bedroom key. Oh, also, are we now down at um, five? Or not five, seven? No, so he didn't count, by the way, to the uh, key. So we got his bedroom key. We got a bastard sword. Unstoppable Kanda. Five to 14. That's a plus four bastard sword that gives its wielder a plus four bonus on persuasion checks. DR5 piercing. Eight plus eight bonus on saving throws against mind affecting effects. Creatures hit by Kanda must succeed at a DC 17 fortitude check or be affected by poison. Poison deals one D2 wisdom each... Uh, it wasn't damaged and days the target for one round. And it also gets. Oh no, that that is everything. I mean, that is absolutely everything. But it's still very, very interesting. No, necessarily as good. Full plate is full plate four. All right. Well, we got an upgrade for uh, for Valerie in here. Valerie, please enjoy your full plate four. Is it better than dragon skill plate? Yes. Yes, it is. It is two better than dragon skill. What's her AC now? 43. There are some things that could just never hit her right now. Okay. Uh, Yeah, we'll have all of that. Have all of that. These are just random loot bits. Uh, we'll have that. Trap triggered. What's the trap? Made her insane. Oh, I'm gods. I hate the insane one. Just pure. Cure her. You have failed to cure her think. Attacks with restoration. Why is it a concealment chance fail? How do I even remove it? How do I remove it? It, it? Okay. Well, res him, obviously. Well, inspiring recovery him. Here. Okay. Yes. Get away. The Get away. Waits. Adventures Get away. Don't hesitate. Stand really close. Something Get away. You? Right. We have heal, don't we? Uh, yes. Heal is... Looks like one of these. I'm sure. There's heal. Right. 50% chance to hit, by the way. 50%. He's failed three of these in a row, by the way. I'm counting the previous bit. Cast heal, did that work? That did cure the insanity and alright, we got inspiring recovery bonus as well. Cool. So your whole party could fit in this bed. The Can we for a free rest? <laughs> that a little bit too cheeky. I just want to see what's in here. Is this a loot room or is this more? Looks like a loot room to me. Diamond dust, I'll take it. Ooh, an amulet. Maya's Charm. All the wearer's spells from enha enchantment and illusion have the DC increased by 2, but the wearer, wearer takes a minus 2 penalty for strength. Lindsay, maybe? I don't know. Uh... I think so? I think we've read that. It's been so long. We've read a lot of them. Broken Drill for the Technic League, and... Ooh, Curse of the Ancient Ayobara. Have I not picked up everything? Okay, I got everything I could there. Right, um... I guess we're gonna rest here. So, use rations, obviously. I think I might switch these two around. Sharpen weapons instead. And then here, what have we got? Plus four to a random ability score for the day could turn out amazingly. I think I'm going to go first world mints. Yeah. Uh, you cannot cook here. 
Why do I have one cooking duty? There we go. We'll do that. Rather than snatching my books when no one's watching, you could have just asked. I was... Uh, I just wanted to look at the pictures. The one with the two swords has many pictures of different battles. Oh, very interesting. And the second has a picture of a lady warrior on the cover. I like her. Nice. We got some strength back as well there. Good. We didn't get attacked. Lightly. Well, we're still ready to go. Hmm. I think we're going to keep going. I was 50-50 on whether we stop or keep going here, but I think we've we've gone long on it, but we can keep going long. I think this is this is definitely a time to do it. Okay, what have we got in here? Next room. No trolls or anything in this one. There's more Patax Wardens. Okay. We weren't necessarily hostile to us, but... No, we can speak to them. See what they have to say. There's a save. Are you hostile? Noisy in the canteen, Irvetti's guards are vigorously discussing the ongoing battle. The old families have started to riot. That's a where at. Uh, the old families have started to riot. Street fights are springing up all over the city. We can't hold down the uproar. Irvetti has lost his grip. It's clear as day. And that's Soroceros. Did you see her handle Villamore? Think we had to stand a chance against her? She's almost here. Let's run for it while we still can. The were rat shows its crooked teeth in a fierce grin. Cowardly, useless fools. Did you eat the royal food, drink his wine, stuff your pockets with his gold? Now you'll stay and fight for him. I'll eat the face of anyone who tries to escape. Mm. Those who don't wish to die for Irvetti may go. The others to arms. Saraceros, I will eat your liver. No, out your guts. Suck the marrow from your bones. End the suffering. Get it? Get it? Onward. Right. Uh, get that. Buff up. Uh... Yeah, move forward a little bit and then we'll work out what we're doing with you. That one. Primitives. Uh, Firebrand. Yeah, because I, I don't know where everyone's going to be yet. Well, Firebrand. Oh, they're all... They all look like they're demoralized. Oh, no, they all got a buff. Never mind. They're completely the opposite of... So that's the Herald that did that. Okay. You deserved it. That's fine. Um, heal. I'll try to make this swift. No, don't want to do that. I just want to chuck down heavy amounts of AoE. I could use a Sirocco over here. That might work, yeah. Sirocco. For the knockdown. Got another heal coming in? We do. Okay. There's a rat with the name. Bring it. That's fine. It's fine. Um. Hit the rat with this. Oh my god, that rat has a lot of health. Okay. Uh, is she raged? She hasn't raged yet. Okay, we'll rage for the extra point hit points. Uh, why, why does it keep running people around like that? Stop it. Um, Reese? Falling over now. Uh, 
They might just fall over in the grease, but that's okay. The Sirocco killed them. Get out of there. Right. Uh, anything worth taking? I think she just fell over again and then took damage from the Sirocco. Oh no. Why am I taking that? No. Ooh, wow. Wing of Protection 5. Braces of Armor 8. Ah, they're very good. Bombardier's Vest. Conservatory Key. Everyone over this way, please. Right. So, uh, let's do a quick search on, like, newest. So, Braces of Armor 8. Now, that seems like... Well, she doesn't even have bracers, but it seems like it might actually be best for Amiri right now. That doesn't increase her AC at all. Just as oh, it's just as though they were wearing armor. Oh, yes, that's a uh, that is a Tristian, right? Yeah, perfect. He's got tw he's got is he got more AC than Amiri. Yeah, despite not wearing armor, he has more AC. Bombardier's vest unnecessary. Ring of protection can replace a ring of protection four. Well, physical form isn't better than giant strength. Natural armor five. I am gonna give that to Amiri. Just because I feel she's dying a lot. I know that it could potentially be better on others, but you know, we'll see. Right. Uh oh, that okay. That was kinda huge. Yeah, those items. There's no point going into the Sirocco bit. Okay. Well we can actually see through there. I don't know what room that is. Uh, I want to head down this way and see what's up the stairs. Before I go anywhere else. Apparently we dealt with someone as well. Like, I just realized the guy over there was saying we... Oh no, the guy in here was saying we dealt with someone. I don't remember ever That's dealing with somebody with like that name. But we'll see. Golden Golems. Okay, that sounds like there's something we should do with those. Okay, let's just explore a direction. Just choose a direction, explore it. When it looks like we're going to hit Eravetti, we back off. Seems fair enough. Our XP we're getting fairly quickly. Okay. We didn't need a key to unlock that. Oh, the door, woe is me. That's the way into the central bit that was locked from the other side, isn't it? Yeah. Bedroom? Alright. Just a bit of good old-fashioned looting. Don't mind me. Just having a little loot. That's fine. Let us be careful. There's a big door. Hello. Quickly, quickly. Stop fussing. Just grab everything. We'll decide what's valuable later. I think someone is coming. Oh, um, uh, good day. Regarding His Highness's treasure, yes, from anyone who might steal them. Alright. Stop. They aren't allies. They're invaders. Attack them. Enemy near. <laughs> Um, yeah, one of those and a fire ability. There we go. That was a good amount of damage already. Is Amiri even, a she's not even able to reach currently. She does get healed though, which is fine. Uh, where's our character? There we go. One of those. That's fine. Try that. That works. Right. 
Yeah, we'll grab that one. Reddit. Uh, Reddit. Right. That's okay. Right. It's a little quick save. I just want to open this door and see where it goes. Lock from the other side. Okay, so that's the way into the center. Uh, oh, turn that off so we're not wasting it. Lindsay, the illustrious. So now we can head down the right wing of the palace. Maybe Lindsay the indecisive. Mm. Yeah, d down the right wing of the palace this time. See how that goes. So we had a big enemy on the le left hand side, but actually apart from that enemy in the optional room, everything else was kind of easy. Right? Yeah, pretty much. That enemy in that room, big problem. Everything else, solved. Like we just crushed it. Why is she walking? Is she fatigued? She is fatigued. Hmm, we need to do a rest to get rid of the fatigue. Okay, that's because she was raged and now she's ran out of rage. That's an issue. A slight issue, anyway. Is there a right wing? Oh, there is no right wing. Okay. Well, in which case, the only way we can go in is over here. Well, let's go over there, then. Mm -hmm. Anything I can give her so she isn't fatigued? Apart from a rest, which I don't want to give her right now. She's still useful in fights. That's why I don't really want to rest her. Especially if I give her a haste, she might actually be able to run. Well, she's exhausted. There we go. Moves at half speed, takes a minus six penalty. Oh, okay. So she is very, very, very slow right now. Is it worth using? We only have... One more rest, I think. Let's have a look. Check it out. Still have to wait for her to walk over here, but we can check it out here. So it's how many rations we have. We only have one more rest. I think we hold off. Just because I don't know what else is coming. Yeah, okay. The path is clear. Oh, we'll have that. Servant, hello. Nothing. I'll go ahead. Nothing being said. They just want to stay out of it. Very sensible. Yeah, they all want to stay out of it. Right. Let's head down here then. The old war is me ghost. I was just thinking about it. The old war is me ghost is very similar to the ghost of the stag lord's father. That we met ages ago. Don't know whether that's something that we need to take a note of. Or whether it's just a random thing. Like, maybe it's just all ghosts. There, there. Where, where? Ooh, we'll have that. General's bedroom key. Ah, that's where you get the bedroom key if you don't get it from the, um... From, that's where you get the jet... That's where you get the bedroom key. If you don't get it from killing... Yarg, whatever his name is. Okay. In there. Strike is one. Uh, Lindsay. One of those and an Inspire Greatness. Christian Wander in. Valerie in the middle. Where is Amiri? Oh, there's a wear rat there. That's okay. I even see the wear rat there. We'll chuck some fire down. Heels going down. Valerie standing in the middle of a whole bunch of enemies. As she always does. I could turn on her Heart of Ira, but I don't really need to. Right. Very nice bounce. Do it again. Last 
a miserable oh she's girl. dead Less what killed her to... oh the archers maybe killed her yeah Amiri slowly wandering forward to murder, take everything out. Okay. Uh, do we have more fire? We do have more fire. Well, chuck it in there. Survive. Always survive. Survive. Tristian, probably time to stop just healing people. So it's come to this. <laughs> yeah, use that again to get us a temporary hit points back, uh, Lindsay. It's fine. You survive. I always survive. Uh, this is fine. Right, um, move in. And probably one of those. Oh, well, a little bit closer. Ooh, that was good. One of those. Almost killed that one at the back. Lindsay, this one? This is where I step in. No, that's gonna kill Amiri, maybe. No, it didn't. Okay, that's fine. It was too far away to kill Amiri. A solid plan. Right. Okay. Share your troubles. I was a little bit worrying when it kept rezzing and then unrezzing and then rezzing and then unrezzing. Uh, that's fine. Quick save. Let's get in a pile. It's res time. Well, not res, but heal time. Nice. Uh, more loot in here as well. In case we needed any more. Nope. Nope. Have that. Nope. Nope. Okay. Cool. The path is clear. There's so much loot if we wanted it. Something out there. Okay. Traps are not a problem for us. Lindsay has never failed a, a boss, trap. Please. She's so good. Tread lightly. Right. Yeah, so go open these prison cells. Why not? Uh, that one looks clear. Let's head out. This one. Applause, please. Also clear. Okay. In here, clear. In here, oh, there's Hannes Drelev. I don't know who he is, Anything but else? I've released him now. You barely recognize the man sitting in the cell. He's changed much over the years since you saw Baron Hannes Drelev at the formal reception in Restov. Once muscular arms are now thin, his skin is pale and his eyes sunken. He's sitting on the floor staring in his hands. Oh right, yes, he's the arrogant man who received the domain in the Stonelands for Jamandi Eldori, of course. Uh, let's use Detect Magic. Seems that there are no active spells on Drelev. However, you notice some traces of strange mar magical aura. It reminds you of the ones that filled the chamber under the old sycamore where you fought Tartusio. One could assume the traces were left by some powerful artifact, but there's no guarantee of that. Baron Drelev, I didn't expect to see you here. Baron's lips begin to tremble. He doesn't lift his eyes from his hands. But just when you begin to sense you won't get an answer, he speaks softly. You are too late, Baron. Anis Drelev is dead. This is only a corpse. I have a few questions for you. Are you dead? After a long pause, Hannah speaks softly and simply, Yes. If you're dead, then how can you be talking to me? The Baron shrugs ever so slightly. I don't know. Are you out of your mind? You look like you're alive and well. Look closer. Drillov lifts his hand and probes the skin on his cheek with a trembling finger. It's pale, but quite healthy. You see? 
The skin peels away, fingers rot into the bone, the corpse has no eyes, no heart, no stomach, nothing. Smell it, it stinks of dead fish. What are you doing inside Erevetti's prison? The Baron left Restoff for Lenbon, stumbled into an ambush. Erevetti slaughtered his people and captured him. No one paid a ransom for Baron Hannes Drelev. Then Erevetti killed him. How did you die? Erevetti kept a monster as a servant, a pet naga. It assumes different shapes for him. But that's not important. He gave her a weapon, a wooden sword, probably magic. He told her to pierce Drelev with it. She did, and Drelev died. So if you're dead, does that mean a priest can resurrect you? A priest? Yes. A do priests resurrect the dead? Yes, perhaps a priest can help. Well, there is no reason for you to stay in this cage, whether you're dead or alive. By the way, if you wish to be brought back to life, go outside and find a cleric. Find a cleric, Dre Yarns. Tell him Sorcerer sent you and that you need help. Very yarns. A priest. The priest can resurrect Drelev. Anna stands up with effort and leaves the ce cell, swaying unsteadily on his feet. He died alive and will return to life thanks to you. You granted him another chance at life as you once did for me. Thank you, Saraceros. Perhaps Baron Drelev will live again. Interesting. Well, that explains what happened to the can ruler of Glend. Len Bon. Sorry, I got distracted by the gargoyle. Um, yes, we'll have one of those. Uh, we'll have a haste. And we'll have a fire on him. Let's try that. Ow. Ooh, there's a thing there as well. I see. Um... I want to change my answer. I want to attack both of them at the same time. We got heals coming in. We should do. Repent. You forced my hand. Okay. Did I hit that other one? Looks like I only hit this one. That wasn't my intention. I meant to hit both. I thought I was hitting both. Ooh, there's another one behind. Okay, we need this heal in as soon as possible here. I can't keep this up much longer. Kept her alive. Okay. Not great. Another one heading in here. Jubilost continuing to chuck acid at it. Is the acid working? Yes, the acid is working. That's fine. I could try a force bomb if I wanted to try and knock it down. Don't know how much that's going to succeed though. Probably not very much. Uh, the force bomb's on a uh, reflex ch chance, right? That wasn't what I meant to do. Uh, reflex, yeah. Acid it instead. It's fine. Um, we could try, thanks to this, we could cast a fireball. Is that un under a spell? It's probably not under spells, is it? It's probably under abilities. Nope. I don't see where we would cast fireball. I was just checking whether it is under spells. No. Hmm. No idea. That's a reflex negates as well, unfortunately. Um. Snowball maybe. That's fortitude negates. Got another heal coming in, but it's our last heal. Snowball hit it? Okay. Did the snowball do anything? It exceeded and it did 22 damage. Okay. Avenge me. Heal coming in. More of these things are behind. Okay. I will carry on with this then. That was good, I guess. Another one goes in now. 
We need to rest after this. I'm gonna go for. Okay. Lindsay, we got anything else? I could do another snowball, I guess. Try it. Or I could do like a soothing performance, but that's not really what I'm looking for here. I guess switch it up to inspire courage. And snowball it again. I require healing. I would love to heal you. I cannot though. Okay, I killed all of the weird things, or the weirdly named things. Uh, switch to this. Stand in front of it while I continue to chuck fire snakes at it. Okay. We got two more attacks coming in now. Not dead yet. It's so close to being dead though. I'll try to make this swift. So it's come to this. Hit it. He's so not in a good place here. Okay. I think I use magic missiles. Can't miss. Got it. Okay. Raise the dead. Okay. Well, we obviously skin. We have a quick look at this. So boots are manticore skin boots. Plus 10 to speed, plus 4 to natural armor, which does stack. Physical flow and ring of protection 5. Okay. Take just a step back here. And we're going to rest. An obvious quick save right as we do it. Okay. Use rations. Seems good. Okay. Rest. You're constantly unhappy. Always complaining. But you never threaten to leave the party. Discontent is the normal condition of a sound mind. Comfort and contentment lead one to grow fat and stupid, and even cause gnomes to bleach. I may not be entirely warm-hearted, but I'm never at a loss for new experiences. Cool. Ooh, seeing the health come in is nice. We are a little bit in a worrying situation. In terms of that was our last oh, rest, okay. but I think this might be our last fight before the boss. Looking at where we are, but I could be wrong. I found something interesting. Newspaper clippings with urgent headlines decorate the walls. Terrible murder at the port. New victims of Port Ripper. Um, gargoyle suspected guards helpless to stop murderer. Port Ripper stopped. Murder stopped. For how long? Unsolved secret of the Ripper. News the truth about the Ripper is hanging on the wall. It reads, however, against the claims of the uh, guards, um, our informant, who asked not to be named, claims the Port Ripper is still alive and lives at the King's Palace, serving as Irvetti's personal executioner. Forget it. Failed to broaden the passage by force? That would have been more loot, I imagine. Oh, well. You know... What, what, what was our chance there? Yeah, we needed a high roll. The fact that we failed by one kind of hurts, but you know. We needed a very high ro roll for that to work. Right, upstairs. Right into it, huh? Tear them apart! Do not falter! Uh. Will they ever learn? Yeah, I guess you can start spamming that again. Fire. Go. Oh, uh, I always forget Lindsay's. Are we just up the top now? Yeah, we're up the top and in the courtyard. That's that's fair enough, fair enough. Oh, we're being shot from the people outside as well. Ah, okay. We really do need to deal with these trolls rather quickly. We could. The heels are nice. Um. 
How much health do these guys have? A lot. Okay. It's more of a fireball situation then. The acid is nice. Are we about to be attacked from this side? No, we should be fine. I could chuck in our fireballs so they're like this and they hit both. They hit both. Let's try it. That only hit the ones on the side. Okay. Got another heal coming in soon. Maybe I should just aim for the ones at the side here, because they're the ones hurting me. Probably aim for those two. Well. Uh, let's just hit them. <laughs> The heals are nice. Okay. Killed a couple of them there. Uh, we can now start chucking fireballs over this way as well. That's nice. More kills coming in here. That's fine. They're not all targeting me anymore. Some of them still are, though. Mm. That one is. Okay. Apparently we can hit them with that, so let's do that. Kill them. I'm getting healing. Just slower than I would need it. Ideally. Um... I'll just chuck in an acid on that one, kill it. A fine use of my talents. Any last wishes? Nice. Back in here as well. Any good loot? Oh, also... Turn that off. There we go. Big fight. Very cool. I'm listening. Health... Uh, my healing we have is questionable, but we're fine. Hopefully. Right, so we can now head out into this bit. So this is the right hand wing that we couldn't access earlier. That leads nowhere. Just checking that the back leads nowhere. Actually, I can kind of see it leads nowhere. Yeah. We're done there. So now we're heading in and up. Or we're heading up and in or something like that. So we're on basically a different height level. Oh no, there we go. And there's the door we can open. Nice. They are there. They want us to go further along. Let us be careful. I believe I found something. All right, disarm that first. That is definitely a troll veteran. Applause, please. Okay. Quick save. Let's have a look in here. Just shut the door. You know, why, why bother? Yeah, so I definitely want Valerie in the center if I can. Lindsay can then head out this way with her crossbow. Jubilos, take a step, step out there. That's fine. Then we can start chucking in fire. There we go. It's three in theory. They don't like it very much. We can want to head in there as well. Repent. Okay. Um, I don't really want to be chucking 
fire. I want to be kept chucking that. Yeah. I said I don't want to be chucking in uh, arrows. I want to be chucking in fire. That's what I meant to say. Not the exact opposite. Oh, I forgot to use Lindsay's. Rubbish. She has so much fair health now. Okay. One of those. The acid bomb's heading in on that one. Nice. Okay. Now there's only one attacking uh, Miri. It should be easier. Uh, fire. Another dead. Okay. Nice. Don't use another healing. Yeah. I should probably switch Tristian back to ranged as well. Alright. Well. Interesting. We'll grab all the loot that we can here. Really not entirely worth it for the fight, for the resources used, but okay. Adventures call to them. Uh, Tristian, Something do we have a good, like, single heal? Uh... Shield of Faith's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, it's critical. Not bad. Um, we got another one. Yeah, Remove Curse sounds like a good one as well. And then, uh, dismissal. Yeah, it's another critical. Good. Quick save. We continue down he here. There's a down and there's an along. All right, let's see where this takes us. A boss, please. Two servants. Okay. We'll grab the loot here. Nice. Uh, read it. That's fine. Tread lightly. Check that we're still free here. Good to kind of have a look around. Anyone open the door, I beg you. I did open the door. Alden's Final Temptation. Read it. Your overlords, we've read it. So, anyone open the door, I beg you, they said over here. I did open the door though. I do it too quickly. I don't know. Whatever, the potted plant speaking to me. The path is clear. This bit worries me a little bit. The golden golems. I avoided them at the other side, didn't I? It didn't go into that area on this side either. Okay, back over here. That takes us to the armory. Oh, okay. The gnomes don't look too well. Grey hair, pale skin, dim eyes say they're suffering a serious case of the bleaching, but their vitality certainly hasn't left them yet. Bickering busily, the, the gnomes are searching the bookshelf, stuffing one volume after another into their bags. Fire is awesome throttle. Oh, it's a awesome throttle. Oh, look what I found. Look, look. We need to take this. What? Eat of the Forbidden Empire? I embrace? Uh, are you out of your mind? Forget that filth. We're looking for magic books. What do you know? It's a rare book. Who are you? She didn't recognize us, Lure. Haha. -ha. They were participants in the pranks of the Inco Yeah, okay, so I was right that Nerd was there. And we've killed Nerd. She's very dead. Of course not. We were frogs when we met the inconsequent debates. I am Vyre Dothan Thropple, the most skilled wizard this side of the inner sea, and here with me is, well, somebody who keeps trying to piggyback on someone else's glory. Brother, how you always thrust yourself forward. Don't listen to his mumbles. I am Lure Zoltan Thropple, the most skilled wizard on this and the other side of the inner sea. Glad to see you again, Sorosaros. We had fun last time, didn't we? What are you doing here? What? What do you think? Irvetti's finished. We're stuffing our bags and leaving. We recommend you do the same. Just stuff them somewhere else. You can take the silverware or the candlesticks. Don't touch the books. The books are all ours. You can take the one about 
Oh, forbidden embraces. Did you see the ghostly figure in the hallway? I think there are ghosts in this palace. Of course there are. Well, not ghosts, just one. But a real one. It's the ghost of the wizard who built the palace for the Queen of Patax and refused to let her inside. He said she was unworthy of living in such a beautiful palace. She had to, you know. They also say she didn't just kill him, but immured him alive somewhere in the palace with a room with countless treasures. We we're meaning to find it, but we never got around to it. Now we're just a bit busy. All right, goodbye. Wait, you're Sorosaros, and Sorosaros is you. So Sorosaros from the inconsequent debates is the Queen Sorosaros from Saros? Oh, thick skull of mine, I should have figured it out earlier. When we're done with you, everything that's left will fit into my hat. Silly, what do you want with a hat full of ashes? I don't, I'm just saying, I don't even have a hat. Help you. Why are we being attacked by these two? Onwards. They go down. Okay, uh, get one of those, get a haste. Christian, I guess we're just going to shoot I'll for try just now. Swift. Try, try your best, yeah. Fire. The what the f the, uh, what? <laughs> we just got killed by a single spell. But was the spell like a kill you if you've uh, no. I got killed by the spell. Everyone else was fine, I think. Oh, it also did wisdom damage. There was wisdom damage that dropped at the same time, but... I think it's because we got hit with the spell. We died. Oh, no, that's died. Yeah, so I guess if you failed your will, your will save, you just died. Wow. All right, then. Well. <laughs> you know. There's more Patax Wardens. Um. Hmm. I can feel myself starting to rush. Which I think I want to avoid. So I'm going to end the episode here. And I'll come take a break and come back. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.